that's that's you know, that man has a big day. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a lot. Alright, man. Adios, that man. Me, um. These people out here don't know the truth, kid. This is a battle of truth, man. Alright. Anyway, the devil's up here earlier. They've been westernized, man. Which we don't give a shit about Islam, but like you see, like you saw earlier. See, these people they don't believe in their religion. They all come over here and they all get seduced. Because that's what Babylon is all about. It's confusion. There's a melting pot of wickedness. And it's time for our people to come out of that confusion. It's time for you to repent, man. It's time for you now to seek the most high in the sun. Like I said before, like we always keep prophesying, like we always keep saying. Now it's a high time, like the Bible says, to wake up out of sleep, man. It's high time. Like I said, you have another disease out here. Legionaries or whatever that, whatever you call that stupid shit, man. about this so-called disease. Read about this new disease. White man claims some natural outbreak. Give me a break. Legionaries. I'm gonna read this article. They said Legionnaires disease, Cleveland woman dead from bacterial disease that has infected at least 100 in NYC. I don't even believe that. A lot of that just might be bullshit to scare people, but we don't know. Maybe it is true. I'm going to bring it out. It says, the 53-year-old woman died earlier Thursday at University Hospital at Cleveland, Ohio. After being diagnosed with Legionnaires disease, health officials said, the infection's bacterial disease, which kills six people, in two separate outbreaks in 2013, blah, blah, blah. They said at least 100 people in the NYC in the past month have been infected. Now, they said they don't, it's not clear how they contracted it, but they said between... Let me go into what it is. Legionella, the bacteria causes Legionnaire disease, breeds in warm water in places like hot tubs, pool towers, decorated fountains and spread through mist or vapor. So they can spray that out here. Based on the contents of that disease, they can easily spray that out here. Easily, man. And you don't even know if they spraying it with their chemtrails. Talking about cooling towers. That's some man-made bullshit. See, we told you this white man is a devil, man. Because he's the one that's polluting the planet Earth. And that's where all these things are happening. But above all, it is the most high. It is the most high at the end of the game. On the left hand side, that's doing these things. I'm going to read some scriptures. It says symptoms include cough, shortness of breath, high fever, just like the Ebola shit, muscle aches and headaches, and 
can begin showing between two to four days after a person has been exposed to the bacteria, which also causes Pontiac fever, a milder form of the disease. They said it started out in the South Bronx, blah, blah, blah. And they said the death toll is upon the condition of the paper six, the highest in the city's history. So I'm not going to read too much more on this, man. The point was made, we in a time of diseases and we in a time of death. And the Most High said this, Amos chapter 4, verse 13. Amos 4, verse 10. And I was sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword, and have taken away your horses, and I have made stink of, the, of your camps to come up of your nostrils, yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. So what's the pestilence of the man of Egypt? The Heavenly Father played Egypt with ten plagues. You had this idiot Christian Bale try to make a, a, a gods and kings movie. When you read Exodus chapter 7 to 12, it goes into the plagues. Those same plagues about to hit America, man. America's getting plagued right now. This new disease, like I just read, is one of those plagues. Then you had the Ebola, but things going to get worse. Because these are all being orchestrated. These are all being controlled. These vaccines are time release diseases. That they're trying to, they're going to push out here real soon. That they made mandatory in California and I believe in the NYC as well. Read another precept Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 25 Ecclesiastes 39 verse 25 for the good are good things created from the beginning so evil things for sinners that precept again. Ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 25 For the good are good things created from the beginning and that's for what? The good things of the kingdom of heaven. That's what we are striving for. Power and rulership in the earth as well as the universe. Having these people as slaves. The same people that put us in slavery, they're going in slavery in the world to come. That's what we're striving for. That's what we're working for. That's what we're laboring for. That's what we come out here to our It's to gather the elect and to condemn the society. And above all, we have to do it. Because the Heavenly Father made us a nation of kings and priests. So those are the good things that we want to inherit. Finally, peace, man, and safety from our enemies. Verse 26. The principal things for the whole use of the man's life Water, fire, iron, and salt. Flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape and oil and clothing. Things and necessities. Anyway, which we're going to have an abundance in the kingdom of heaven. Verse 27. All these things are for the good to the godly. So the sinners, they turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. When in their fury, they lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. What are these spirits? Fire and hail and famine and death. And we in a time of we in a time of death. We are in the time of destruction. We are in the time of this country's downfall. 
okay? We're in a time of the white man's downfall because this is his empire. He's Esau when you read the scriptures. And his empire you call America is on his way out. That's why you got all these disease, disease warfare, you got the racial tension. It's dollar bill that doesn't um, work anything anymore. And then you got the third world wars coming. All right? But the scripture says death is a spirit of judgment. This is diseases like I just read. The Heavenly Father said he was going to send pestilences after the manner of Egypt. Verse 27. All these things. These are the spirits. Fire and hail and famine and death. And a famine is coming to this society. When that economy falls. It's going, it's going to get nasty out here. And we have to keep pushing that because that time is very close. You know? Uh, brothers been getting dreams. Friends been getting dreams. And that's crazy. The Heavenly Father said he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Alright? Continue on. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions. Serpents and the sword, which, the, which is a modern day gun. Punishing the wicked to destruction. And two thirds of you Negroes and Hispanics and you Native Indians, you're going to taste that. Right now, it don't seem that way because everything is perceived to be normal, which is not. Everything is not normal. America is in a state of emergency, it's in a state of chaos. And the Most High sent in all these racial incidents to stir you up, to stir up your pure mind. Yeah. Jeremiah. See, that's the average nigga. That's the average Negro, man. Wearing a pink shirt and just gone. See? Average nigga. I have no clue what's happening. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 12 <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 1 Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me a destroying wind. And that destroying wind is the nuclear missiles. That's that destroying wind that's going to come past land and sea. Verse 2. And I will send you, send unto you Babylon fanners. Thou shalt fan her and shalt empty her land for in the day of trouble it shall be against her round about. Which those fanners are those racial incidents and these international incidents that's going to lead to the third world's war. That's the fanners. So all these things were created for vengeance. So we all got to strengthen our beliefs. We all got to get better in this truth. We all got to get harder. Because tough times are coming. Right? Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 14. Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. And who we who we're reproving? You Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Indians. We're correcting you. Alright? Verse. Reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Because this Bible is the comforter, man. 
Yes. Yeah, of course. I preach against that. That's right. Preach against. That's right. Preach okay. against that a woman, a dirty bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's good. It's you good to friend. see you here, brother. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate good to see that. a black man here. Yes, right. Okay, I appreciate that. We were that. just talking on the train about all of this that's going on right, in right, the world right. with our people. You understand with all of these cave men and cave women. Right, right, right. You understand right. coming destructing us and our chick kids right, and right. our household and our home. Right, I don't right. like them and I would never like them. Well, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I don't like them. I, I don't get much sisters hand saying that. Yeah, I know because the sisters down here. Yeah, yeah. They uh, brainwash. brainwash. Yeah, they all brainwash. Yeah, the majority, they, yeah. majority of them come up against us. You know yeah, what I mean? that's terrible. Well, they shouldn't. They should come with you. Yeah, not well, against you. Well, in the days is coming where martial law and the chip come. They gonna have no choice. Yeah. Cause a lot of them gonna be in concentration camps. Right? Exactly. Cause they, a lot of them is too far.